the V, the cooter, the pocketbook, the vagina, whatever you want to call her, that's who we're talking about today. Hello guys and welcome to our topic Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about the V, the vagina, the cooch, the cooter, whatever you want to call her. She has many names. We are going to be diving into the hygiene of RV. That's going to be her name today. V. So this is kind of a hush hush don't let people know subject that we deal about. And for the men who click on this video being like, "Ooh, y'all y'all got some uh first and foremost, y'all be having some stink balls too. So some of these tips and tricks y'all could be using yourselves. Don't come at us. I still love you guys, though. So we are going to dive right in and talk about some of the things that we don't necessarily think about that we do on an everyday basis. So first things first, we're going to start with the basics, which is washing RV. I know it sounds simple. You wash it, you're good. But... I did not know and I thought that when I was like in my like early adulthood that the fragrances and all that stuff is not really good for RV and it makes RV sad and it messes up our pH and a sad V is not a happy me and <laughs> y'all should put that on a shirt um, so having like a messed up pH and me not necessarily knowing that I'm doing stuff that can mess it up. It had me sister shook. And having a healthy V and a not raunchy V is very important because as everyone knows, I'm part of the LGBTQ. And the last thing that we want is to have a nasty raunchy V or getting ready to light up with someone and they instantly get turned off by your smell. Like, oof. So, we're going to talk about some things that could possibly help. I'm going to put out a disclaimer real quick that I am not a doctor. And if you have happened to try these things before and you're still having some issues, go to the doctor and get that checked out. And when everything gets good to go, try some of these tips to help. But, like I said, we're going to start with washing RV and realizing that the fruity smells, the really good smelling stuff is not necessarily good for RV. She is a self cleaning machine. And when we scrub ourselves with like body washes that have like that heavy scent of stuff like Bath and Body Works. I love my Bath and Body Works y'all. But RV doesn't. And it's so important to try to use organic or scent free stuff for specifically down there because that that's when you start the messing with the pH and you get a little itchy and you got you just feel uncomfortable so that is one thing that I learned and I know that Dove um, has a really good fragrance safe stuff for the V and I know if I'm remembering right Carly P I believe just came out with um, like a feminine hygiene wash, which if I can find the name of it, I'll go ahead and put it below right here. So um, yeah, just making sure that our vaginas are washed with unscented mild body wash. And then you can use the smelly fruity stuff for all over because um, we do like to smell pretty. Um, so yeah, just a fruit for thought. The next thing that we are going to talk about is the, um, underwear, 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 underwear. 
I know you guys love the thongs and the lace panties and the cute little spandex that we get from Victoria's Secrets that have the underwear part that covers yourself that's too small. That's not very big girl friendly. Your vagina don't like them. It's it's cute for temporary, but our vaginas want to breathe. They want to feel free. They don't like feeling like that stuff is just all stuck to them. And I don't know about some of you guys, but I have thick thighs. I have a butt. And the last thing I hate dealing with is chub rub. And on top of that, wearing some lace underwear. It's uncomfortable. It hurts. I mean, it's just... My women that got the thick thighs, y'all know how how real the chub rub goes. It's not friendly. And so really try to push for cotton underwear. That's more breathable. It's more comfortable. Like our shirts are cotton, you know. Just kind of thinking of the same thing. You like your skin to feel soft with the clothes you wear. Your undies kind of want to feel the same way for your V. And while we're talking about breathable, more comfortable underwear, you ladies know how when we come home from a long stay of work and the first thing that we want to do is rip off this thing we call a bra, your V feels the same way. Let her breathe. Let her breathe. If you're not doing nothing else for the rest of the day, free ball. You're in your house. Let her breathe. Put on a dress, do some stuff around the house. I swear you will notice such a difference if you just let her breathe overnight, a couple of hours. Let her breathe. How would you feel if you kept a bra on all day long? I know I don't. Mm -mm. So just let her breathe. And it's something that I know I do. I love when I'm at home. I don't got to wear no bra, no underwear. <laughs> I know it's TMI. But I love it. It's just I, I'm more comfortable. I feel free. So, just like I said, it's fruit for thought. Don't knock it till you try it, okay, guys? Um, the Another thing that we are going to talk about is the stuff that we put inside of our bodies. Now, I'm going to kind of dip into my health a little bit i have turner syndrome and with turner syndrome i do not have periods and us as women when we have periods that is a way of our body flushing itself out so the women who either have turner syndrome or any other um issue where your periods aren't consistent or you just don't have them in general your body has no way of flushing it itself out so we need to try to help our V out. And eating stuff like yogurt, cranberry juice, the real cranberry juice, not that little juice cocktail, real 100% cranberry juice. Or, you know, like taking probiotics, or if you do not like cranberry juice and you can't stomach it, take cranberry pills or take probiotic pills. Um, one thing that I definitely make sure that I try to get when uh, my wife and I go grocery shopping is yogurt. Yogurt is so good for your V. It, is, it has so many probiotics in it. It's so healthy. It's like heaven for your V. And it's just something that is very natural. Something that you can do that you don't really have to go out of your way. Just grab a cup of yogurt, eat some in the morning, and... It'll do you good. And it's helping you naturally. So it's just like pay more attention to what we put inside of our bodies. Not really fixating on eating all the junk food and a soda and all that good stuff. Make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. Eating yogurt. Take either like cranberry pills, drinking cranberry juice. But most important, you know, just water. Water, water, water. Flush, making sure yourself is good and flushed out. Cranberry juice and yogurt are just a couple of things that naturally can help you and your V health. Um, another thing that we are going to talk about that I feel is very co controversial is shaving. Now, personally, I shave. I just, I feel more comfortable. 
I don't like because like the hair I feel it holds so much bacteria and grime and dirt from the day that I just wanted to just shave it off just made it go away if if there's something that I can do to help my V I'm gonna help a sister out I got your back girl so just you know and if you don't like to completely shave and you don't feel comfortable trim it up and just make sure that you scrub real good you know just keep it looking pretty keep it clean because crazy crazy enough the hair and stuff it holds all that stuff in there it, it's a good barrier to protect but when you got a little bit too much it, it holds so much germs and dirt and bacteria and all that good stuff and when you have a full bush and you're part of the lgbtq and you're holding all that bacteria and dirt and germs and smell and all that stuff that's that that's a no-go and you're going to get that mm, not good and you won't hear from that person no more so you just kind of want to try to eliminate that that problem um and it kind of wrap things up. i've got two more things to talk about is piercings for down there now mom i'm so sorry because i know you're watching this and i love you but us as lgbtq people we do do things to alter our bodies and amplify the good good so when you have piercings down there and i'm not going to really go into a lot of detail but if y'all want me to make a video of the piercings that i have slash had let me know and i'll happily make that video and that could be another topic but when you have piercings down there it's really important to make sure that, that you keep it clean that you're doing what you're supposed to because that can not only mess up your ph but, but it can mess your sister up down there or if you're a man it, it can mess it up down there so just be very mindful of what you put and do down there and if you do decide to alter a little bit down there make sure that you are putting forth that effort to make sure that it stays clean like it's supposed to yeah I i'm leave it at that <laughs> so last but not least like i said you know we went over a couple of things and like i said it's what works for me is not going to work for you and like i said if you've tried some of these things and you still have a little bit of an odor go to the doctor and get it checked out and i'm going to be the first one you know i i have no shame and I i'm an open book and if you came across this video and it's and it kind of raised some flags like oh shoot you know maybe i should get that checked out do it we we a sisterhood you got you got a stank cooch i got a stank cooch we all got a stank cooch we gonna help each other out and us women put some comments below that you you did to help yourself and your vagina health because it's something that we all have to deal with and i'm not here i'm not going to throw no shade i'm not going to sit here and say i've never had to deal with that because i have so go to the doctor get yourself checked out make sure that if you are active in that community whether you are a part of the lgbtq or you're heterosexual make sure that you're getting yourself checked nor um regularly me and my wife have been married and been together for 10 years and we still make sure that we put forth that effort to get tested and make sure that we're staying healthy for each other so i mean don't, don't be afraid to put forth that effort to make sure that you're good but now that i've sat there and i've opened that that book and i've spilt that tea if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up i'm watching you i need to see those thumbs up and if you are new and what brought you to my channel is the title, you're royalty now. So go ahead and subscribe. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.